Hi, I want to show you how to double it the capacity of the Milwaukee battery. I have a 1.5 amps. I already removed the stickers and the screws. Oh, it's looking inside. It's just five cells. I have uh, the same from, I think this is from the same battery. This is just for a demonstration purpose. I'm done, don't gonna use this battery probably in the future. Plan is uh, double it and put a spacer what I design. It is, you can download it on a Prusa site with the 3D design. This is a second version of it. I'm gonna make third one because I already saw some issue with this, but version what you can download it is gonna be fit perfect. And I'm gonna use it something to hold it, this battery together. I was planning to use this spacer between the batteries, but you probably don't have it. This is from an old type of uh, Milwaukee. I have a small metal strap, what I'm planning to add it on every each one, like that. Of course, I'm gonna use a spot welder. You can just uh, solder that, doesn't matter. Basically, it's a little bit tough to, to solder, but it's possible. Same on the other side. This is a 0 0.15 full uh, nickel strap, so I think they are okay. I think they're gonna survive on these uh, amps. Yeah, and this uh, version of this uh, extension, this is on the way. But in a final version, it's gonna be a space for it. I need to remove this and this to fit inside. And basically, if you spot welder or solder the new batteries, you just put it back together in the same spot. You use the spacer, what is fits basically perfect. You close it with the old cover, and you have a short screws 20 millimeter the new one is like 34 35 i get them from uh i think d battery or the old battery but new screws needs to be something about 34 maybe 35 it's gonna fit i think and that's it Of course, after it, you need to charge it if the uh, voltage was different or something. And this way, from 1.5, we have a 3. Of course, this is still not a lot, but it's better than 1.5 if you have a spare cells, what you can use in a project like that. Of course, there is a couple different versions to download it. You can make it even higher. So you can make a 4.5 or something. I'm planning to use it, a regular battery. My plan is using the 3 amp cells and make it 9 just for fun. To use it on a big tool, like a concrete drill or something. Because even a 5 discharge, discharge quite fast. Battery is uh, fully charged. And it's work like a charm.